Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me. When I was in a besieged city, I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. But you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. My friends, I have free Bibles in English and in Spanish. They're absolutely free. Just need to come up and take one. Free Bibles, my friends, free Bibles, English or Spanish. What I've been reading to you is out of the book of Psalms. Today I read to you Psalm 22 through 31. All of that and much, much more can be found in the Word of God. The Word of God says that these things have been written so that you may know that you have eternal life. Do you know, do you know young man, if you have eternal life? There around the corner. Do you know if you have eternal life? Have you yet humbled yourself before the Lord? For as I told you last time, God is opposed to the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Word of God says these things have been written, my friends, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Do you know today that your sins are forgiven? And if your answer to that question is yes, for what reason do you know that? Is it because you think you're good? Well, the Word of God says you are not. Neither am I. The Word of God makes it clear in Romans 3 that there is none who is good. No, not one. And that same passage ends with these words. There is no fear of God in their eyes. Do you believe that your sins are forgiven? yet you have no fear of the Lord? Do you continue to sin with wanton rebellion against Him? Then you do not know Him. Your confidence is a false confidence that will lead only to your destruction. Ah, but my friends, you can know. You can know that your sins are forgiven. But you must come to God on His terms. For God does not negotiate with sinners. Isn't that right? God does not negotiate with sinners. Isn't that right? You have a question? Have you turned from your sin yet, young man, and put your trust in Christ? Have you done that? For like me, tomorrow is not promised to you. You're not guaranteed to wake up in the morning, young man. And I pray for you. I pray for you, young man, and I care about you. And every day you come to this bus station when I'm here, I'm going to call out to you to repent and believe. Because I care about your soul. Because I love you as a fellow human being.